Hello everyone. I recently hopped onto ASOS and ordered some new clothes. Do I need new clothes? No. Did I buy new clothes? Yes. However, the seasons are changing, so that was my excuse. It's getting a little bit colder. I mean, it's the middle of August, but still, it's getting colder now. And I'm just not feeling my wardrobe at the minute. So I thought I would hop onto ASOS and see if there's anything that I liked, and there was. So today, I thought I would share with you what I bought. This is the bag. I didn't go too excessive, but I'm really happy with the things that I did pick up. Let's delve into the bag of dreams. The first thing that I picked out, I cannot remember what this is. So this is like a plain black t-shirt at the front, but I really liked the back of it. It's this like crisscross design. I got it in a size medium, but it actually looks quite small, so I'm glad I went for the medium rather than the small. I just liked that it had a bit of detail in the back because I really like simple clothing, but with a little bit of detail, always add something extra to an outfit. So this was from Pull'em Bear, and this top was 10.99. I feel like it's gonna be really good for like layering up in the autumn time with a big, chunky knit cardigan love that the next thing in this bag of dreams is something i was so excited about getting it is this t-shirt i think yeah this is also from pull and bear it just says space queen on it as you can see it's navy blue and it's got this like white detailing around the sleeves and down the shoulders and i thought it would just look really nice with like some black skinny jeans or whatever just a very simple outfit but i really liked this Really caught my eye as soon as I saw it. And this t-shirt was also 10.99. Next up is another t-shirt. This is also from Pull and Bear. I promise not everything in this haul is from Pull and Bear. But as you can probably tell, I'm kind of in need of t-shirts at the minute. And this is actually quite unusual for me, but I do like it. So it is this plain black t-shirt with a sparkly palm tree on it. It just really caught my eye because I thought the glitter was quite fun. Like it's actual glitter stuck on there. And it's also got like this beading on it. It just adds a little something to a very plain t-shirt. Kind of like the first one I guess with the crisscrosses. It's simple but it's also a little bit unique so yeah I really liked this one and it was £12.50. I think it's a little bit cropped or it's got like a little bit of frill or peplum at the bottom something like that so I just really liked that. I thought it was cute. The next t-shirt is not from Pull and Bear. This one is from Bershka. I've actually never had anything from Bershka but I hear that it's really nice so I'm excited to give this a try. It's a fairly plain top but I really did like this one. It's just white and it has like this v-neck and this choker detail in it at the top it's fairly cropped but it's not like unacceptably cropped i'm very cautious about showing my stomach just because i don't know i feel weird when my stomach's on show i felt like this was a nice length of crop does that make any sense and this was only 6.99 so i feel like that's really good because you could wear it with black skinny jeans you could dress it up a bit you could wear it with casual ripped jeans i feel like it's a very versatile top so i think i'll get a lot of wear out of this and i'm really loving chokers at the minute not so much choker necklaces but chokers in clothing I think look really really lovely so I'm happy with this $6.99 what a bargain the next thing I picked up was from Cheap Monday I've never actually had anything from Cheap Monday I'd never heard of it until recently but I'm assuming it's quite a cool brand and I'm not sure if I'm cool enough for it to be honest this was one of the more expensive things I got though it was this plain black t-shirt that just says Cheap Monday Stockholm on it this was £20 which I feel is quite expensive I mean like I was expecting it to be really good quality or something like that and it does feel nice, like all the seams are really good and everything. It's pretty standard. I'm guessing that Cheap Monday is just a fairly expensive brand, maybe. I'm not sure, but I wanted to try something out, so I picked this up. But I'm definitely going to try it on and see what I think of it. And if I don't absolutely love it, then I'm going to be sending this one back. But if I do love it, I'll be really happy with that, because I feel like it's very casual. It's actually very me. I like a slogan t-shirt, but not too much. Again, I feel in the autumn, you can layer this up really nicely. I can imagine it with like a big, chunky knit scarf some black boots some black jeans really going for that like cool vibe try my best anyway well hey the next thing is not a t-shirt right this is going very autumn winter i know it's august hear me out i picked up this beanie it's just plain burgundy it was only six pounds so i'm not going to be too fussed if i don't get a lot of wear out of this it's only like the asos own brand they have it in so many different colors but i'm gonna try and rock a beanie this year because i absolutely hate the cold weather and having cold ears honestly makes me so miserable it's a joke i'm not sure if i can pull off a beanie to be honest with you like I'm gonna try my best, but if I can somehow make this work this winter slash autumn, I will be a much happier hat. <laughs> so that was the next thing I picked up for six pounds. I didn't wanna spend a lot on a beanie, like there were some really expensive ones that were really nice on the website, but I thought, you know what, if I don't wear it, I don't wanna waste all that money. So yeah, six pounds for this little bad boy. Definitely giving myself hat hair now, lovely. Should've saved that one till last. Okay, the next item is also quite autumn-y slash wintery. It is this jumper from Pretty 
pretty little thing. I love that ASOS have so many different brands on it because it's so easy to like get it all in one go rather than switching between tabs on my laptop trying to find what I like from what companies. ASOS just makes that really easy and I really like that. So as you can see it's this very like blushed pink colour. I thought it was quite an unusual colour and I don't have anything this colour in my wardrobe currently so I do really like this. I'm a big fan. I'll have to see what it looks like on because I wasn't sure if it was going to suit my complexion or not but looking at it I think it's actually going to look quite nice and it just has cold shoulders so the shoulder is cut out here not ideal for the winter but do you know what it will do and then on the end of the sleeves it has a little frill and also on the bottom of the jumper has a little frill I just thought this with black jeans it could look really lovely usually I'm not a fan of frills like this but I thought these were just very subtle very cute and yeah I'll have to see what it's like on also love that it's high neck because I'm really into that in the winter it was mostly the color that drew me to this to be honest so yeah that was £12.50 the next thing I picked up I'll be quick with this one super random it's a belt and it's basically like a western style belt but I pretty much just picked this up up to go with my high-waisted ripped skinny jeans and I chose this one because it's silver I really liked this silver detailing and it wasn't too expensive either it was 10 pounds I don't always wear belts but when I do I'd really like to have a silver one I have a gold one right now and I have actually got quite a lot of wear out of that but quite often silver would go with my outfit so much better so I thought I'd pick this one up I thought it was quite cool I liked the western style of it and yeah for 10 pounds I thought you know what I can't really go wrong with that the next thing was also very excited about this. Okay, so this is like the cutest pajama slash loungewear set I've ever seen in my entire life. The bottoms are pretty simple. They just look like this. They've got like a little white tie around them and they're elasticated and they have rain clouds on. Isn't that adorable? I really hope these are long enough for me and I hope that they fit me well because the top that goes with them is one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. It is just this big oversized top that says duvet day. I feel like for loungewear, Lounging around the house in the autumn slash winter time, this is going to be absolutely perfect. All snuggled up with a dressing gown and a blanket and a hot chocolate. I just feel like I'm going to be loving life in this set. And it was £24 for both the top and the bottom, so I don't think that's too bad because I literally live in loungewear. Honestly, I'd rather spend more on pyjamas than I would on clothing. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favourite purchases in this haul. And then the final item in this haul is another jumper. This is super soft. So it's like this white slash cream colour and I'm not sure how well you can see but it's like this really nice knitted material. It's from Pimkey. Actually never had anything from there either. I'm like trying all the new brands in this video. And this jumper was £21.99. It's the kind of thing that I wear most days in the autumn. I am all about that comfort life but what I really liked about this is that the side of it ties up so it has this really pretty detailing on the side. If you're wearing high waisted jeans you can have a little bit of that on show. I just thought that was a really nice touch to quite a simple jumper because I don't want to be too boring with my jumpers. Like, whoa, I'm going to push the boat out and tie the side of it. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Woo, love life. And that is everything that I picked up this time. So I'm so happy with all my purchases. I absolutely adore some of them and I can't wait to live in them this autumn. Autumn clothing is my favourite clothing to wear. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I hope you are having a lovely day. But thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!